Alright guys, I know it's been about six months since I posted a longer video. A lot's been going on in my life, but hopefully now I'll be posting videos way more often. Just wanted to say thanks for getting the channel over 2,000 subscribers and over 700,000 views in the short amount of time that this channel was started. I appreciate it more than you know, and with that being said, on to the video. A lot of people have been asking questions on my GameCube emulator video and how to properly install it and get it running. So I figured I'd make an updated version of that since the emulator is updated daily. And what better phone to test it on than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. One thing I'll say is, if you're using a phone that's more than a couple years old, the emulator probably won't run smoothly and you may get some errors. So please keep that in mind. The very first thing you want to do is go to your settings, then go to security, and scroll down to unknown sources, and you want to make sure that that's turned on. It's going to allow us to download applications that are not passed through the Play Store. You want to open up your web browser and go to dolphin-emu.org. Once you're there, hit the top three bars, hit download, and scroll down to development versions and look for the one that was updated most recently it'll be at the top here uh, click Android obviously it'll say that uh, this type of file can harm your device but ignore that and hit OK anyway and it'll start downloading once it's downloaded pull down from the top here and click that APK file and hit install down at the bottom okay so you can see it's installed there once it's done hit open just to make sure it installed correctly and hit allow for that and there we go alright now that the emulator is installed it's time to download a game to test out please keep in mind that not all games will run properly but I'll post a link in the description below this video that shows a compatibility list of what games will run and what ones won't. Alright, now open up the browser and type in GameCube ROMs. MU Paradise or Love ROMs are both, in my opinion, the best place to get ROMs. Uh, but for the sake of this video and following along with me, we'll go to MU Paradise. Alright, once you're there, uh, go down to the bottom and hit Browse All Nintendo GameCube ISOs. And the game I'm looking for is Burnout 2, just because it runs really well. Um, so keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And like I said, just for the sake of this video, uh, why don't you download the same game that I have. And scroll down again. As you can see, it's a rather large file, uh, so it might take a little bit to actually download, but just be patient. Click download Burnout 2, and one more time. While that's downloading, in the meantime, you'll need an app to open .7z files. So go to the Play Store and search for 7-Zipper. That's the one that I use. Download and install that. Once the game is finally downloaded, open up the 7-Zipper app and click download. And click the ROM that you want. Obviously, it's Burnout 2 and hit OK. Now this might take a little while as well so just be patient. Once the file is done unzipping open up the Dolphin GameCube emulator hit the plus sign down at the bottom and look for the game that you just downloaded and add it to the library. Now that the game is imported into the emulator let's try it out. Now once it loads up here, you'll see that the controls are jumbled up in the left-hand corner of the screen. You want to pull down, click the three dots, and hit Configure Controls, and then Edit Layout. This is going to allow us to move the buttons wherever we want. Um, so once you have it configured to your liking, we'll be ready to play the game. Alright, so this is how I set up my controls. I don't really remember off the top of my head what the layout is for the GameCube controller. But anyway, let's play here. Alright.
right, here we go. As you can see it runs pretty much full speed with some minor audio slowdowns but it's 100% playable. Like I said you can use a Bluetooth controller if you want and that would make this much more easy to do, much more fun. But yeah, there we go. We'll just go through it one more time. Show you some more footage. Don't really know what I'm doing. Racing games really aren't my thing. Just run into somebody, how about that? Boom! Alright, that's enough of that. So that's it for today's video. I'll leave a link in the description of the compatible games list that shows what games run perfect and not so perfect. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. As always, hitting that like button is appreciated, and please subscribe if you aren't already. A lot more videos to come soon. I know it's taken me a long time to upload this one, but I have plenty of free time now to upload more. And if you're wondering about these other games down here, just stay tuned for the next video. See you guys.